Hi, welcome to the small shed. This Saturday we're back out on the road in the southwest of England, and that's coming up next. <laughs> things this week. Uh, one of them is a follow-up to the swings. The one thing that I hadn't uh, anticipated with the swings was the weather and during the recent gales that we had in beginning of February the whole structure blew over. Um, so I popped down to Weston to sort that out one, uh, one weekend and then uh, the following weekend or week after that I think we went down and uh, did a little bit of babysitting and did some work with the grandchildren to make them a coal frame for some seeds they'd had for Christmas so I'm just going to run through those videos and you can see uh, what it's like working actually uh, outside the shed rather than inside. So this was the site that greeted us after the recent gales that they had down there. Um, it was something that was totally unexpected because there was so much weight in the tower that I never thought for a minute that there would be a problem. Um, but when I wandered out and had a look at it, it was fairly uh, apparent that it had suffered a pretty major catastrophic uh, problem. It took it over, including dragging the monkey bars with it. Um, that was really where the only damage was. It had twisted the monkey bars on the plate that actually held them in. And the only thing I could do was to take the thing apart because it was so heavy to do anything with it. <coughs> now, there was some very slight damage to the slide itself at the bottom, which um, my son-in-law had got some glass fibre and worked on on the bottom. And tidied that up and we just put it back up over in its new place which it was going to be moved anyway and as you can see there's a bank that's about three foot high or more that gives it a fairly large amount of shelter because the wind hits that and goes up and again um, my son-in-law is anchored down with great big long steel pins that I got uh, and we've screwed those to the sides of the tower itself and it's now rock solid and back in use and it's probably you know much happier in the place it's in now it's um, it's got shelter it sits in the landscape better and uh, it's back in use without any real damage as I say it's, it, it, it actually needed a, about a 300mm piece of CLS timber replacing and that was all so it did uh, did help to build it like a brick outhouse. Um, the bottom of the floor area on the ground floor I've finally had a chance now to get that sorted. Um, that was left when I um, last did any work on it with just the slatted pieces removable but I've since put the built the sand pit and we've put that in and uh, filled it with sand so it's now working and functioning in uh, a perfectly adequate manner now so that was that little trauma over and done with now I'd got in the car three pieces of glass shelving that uh, were being thrown out from the house renovations down there but my grandson had had some seeds for Christmas and we decided that we would get all the bits and pieces of rubbish timber that are lying around from both the build of the swings and the house and see what we could make out of them. So I've cobbled together um, a small cold frame that will use all three pieces of glass, two of them with the same width and length but the other one was a slightly different size so it's had to be a bit of a strange arrangement but it seemed to work okay and it gave us enough room to get four trays of seeds in 
So there's just some old gravel board I think that we've sawn up and screwed together at the corners. That uh, was left over from the build itself. <coughs> and then to get the things to fit I put a pent uh, roof on the two pieces of glass to make them effectively the same size. It was toughened glass so I couldn't get it cut down to size or anything so uh, it was more a matter of working with what I'd got than anything else. Um, so it was just cobbled together one morning. Bearing in mind this is about towards the last week in February when it's been absolutely brilliant down there. The weather has been superb. It's been up in the high teens. I think it was about 17 or 18. Glorious sunshine and it was just totally unexpected so we took advantage of the nice weather to uh, to get this built so they can get the seeds in early and uh, it'll give them something to keep an eye on. A little bit of interest in um, nature and then they can transplant them out further into the garden when uh, when the weather gets better later on and we get rid of the frosts. So the first piece of glass was just wedged in roughly. That frame was built to that width which will allow a seed tray in it widthways. Then put an intermediate piece in and a, a stop just to support it just so that the glass can be lifted out. You can see in the background there the reason for needing the lid on the sand pit. There's cats from next door are uh, constantly on the prowl in the garden and they'll soon uh, start and use it as their local toilet otherwise. Then the um, piece of the decking board from the swings was cut down with the roof angle on it for the sloping parts. And I think at that point I was joined by my assistant who always wants to come out and help <coughs> and we put a couple of those the off cuts we used from the um, angles for the other end supports they were just butted together and screwed down to that cross piece you can see from the sky there's not a cloud in the sky and then to stop the glass sliding sideways I got some pieces of feather edge board that were used for the roof for the swings they were left over off cuts and they were just popped on the outside more than anything just to stop the glass slipping down on the slope. I say it was all cobbled together but it's all treated timber so it shouldn't be a problem. That left me with a small gap in the roof at the top. I didn't really want to get drips of water in that way so I think I went and got some um, some of the balustrade rail that I put on the corners of the roof of the swings and that fitted on okay and I put some of the tongue and groove uh, sorry feather edge boards across the bottom just to hold it all together and provide a floor really inside so that the thing can be picked up with all the seeds in it and moved around to suit. It's all, as I say, fairly agricultural stuff. It's uh, big screws and pilot holes and stuck together. That's the capping piece finished it all off and that's left loose at the moment I might put a catch on it or something but and then it was out with the little ones to get them planting the seeds they were all helping with their watering cans and putting the seeds in so they can see them grow just helps to get them started early really. They've got some small trays there that can go on the window ledges in their bedrooms if they want to as well. Just to uh, to be able to see them grow.
and then once all that was watered we just popped the uh, seed trays into the cold frame and went and put it on a bench area just outside the back door it gets the sunshine so uh, hopefully as long as we don't get too bad frosts we can uh, watch them grow in peace I was glad to see there's no harm done to the uh, the swings and that they're now back in full use and that was fortunate because we had such a glorious week last week when uh, the temperatures were well we'd have been happy with them in the summer never mind February uh, that's it for this week. I'll see you next week, I hope, and uh, look forward to seeing you then. Take care. Bye.